if you're staying at a B&B, whether you're staying at a hotel where there's a major D down front, whether yep. you're going to the grocery store and you just strike up a conversation, ask the locals where they go to the pub, where the best music scene is for that town, where the best place to go shopping is. Ask the locals what they do. You want to have an authentic experience, that's who you need to ask. Don't go to the tour guides and that kind of thing. They're going to show you the historical stuff. But the locals are the ones who've lived there who know all the secrets and all the little tips and all the places to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, very often they will be, they'll be curious about you and they will be happy to, sh to, to share some of these things with you because there's a pride. Um, it, it's been said that Scots are very proud people and also kind of self-deprecating. Um, so they really appreciate when you are interested sincerely interested in their culture and in their country. So you can really make some friends. Yeah, Ireland um, as well, not just yeah, Scotland. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And um, they do like to drink. So you may be able to make friends in that pub, you know, just by buying somebody around. Yeah. It, it actually happens. You know. <clears throat> the, uh, the one story that comes to mind, when Kelly and I were in Ireland, we were looking for a particular abbey with a particular high cross that she wanted to go see and we were going to take pictures of. And... It was in the middle of nowhere in Clare or on the, on the West Coast somewhere. And I remember we were in a grocery store and talking to the clerk and just trying to ask him where it was exactly. We knew we were within a couple of miles of it, but we didn't know exactly where it was. And he was trying to explain it to us. He was obviously working at the time, but he was saying, okay, well, you know, you make a left out of here, you go down for, you know, a mile and a half, then you make a right. There's this color house in the corner, then you go down, that's a dirt <laughs> road, and you got to go around the corner here. And he was just, you know, kind of giving us directions. My brain was swimming. Right. And there was a local <laughs> guy standing in line with us, and he said, you know, he heard our accents, he knew that we were tourists, and he just said, what are you looking for? And we said that, you know, the name of the Abbey, and he's just like, I know where it is. Just follow me. I'll take you there. It's it's kind of on my way. Don't worry about it. Um, so just because we were nice and struck up a conversation with them, they literally, they, you know, we paid for our stuff, bought the guy a coffee or something, and he jumped in his truck, and basically we just followed him two, three miles down the road, down dirt roads, down the middle of nowhere, which we yeah. never would have otherwise found. Mm -hmm. And he basically mm -hmm. just stopped, got out and said, okay, this is where it is. Here's some really cool stuff about it. Gave us a mini history lesson. Nice. And I said, okay, to get back out on the road, go down there, make a left, you're back out on the main road. And it was a really, really cool experience that we would have completely missed except for the locals and talking to the locals and you know, having that experience with them. Yeah, and, and, and let, giving them a chance to be proud and to show off. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I think everybody appreciates that to some extent, but, but yeah. the, over there especially. Um, and that's something you will not get with that package tour. You may have some very, very friendly people who are honestly being paid to be friendly with you, you know, because they're, they're your paid guide, <laughs> your paid driver, but um, it can it's not quite the same level of intimacy as you can get with uh, befriending locals and just striking up a random conversation yeah. here and there. Um, as long as you're not overbearing. Um, you know, you want to you wanna ask them questions and you want to listen to their questions, um, but, you know, you want to gauge things too. They, you don't want to, like, if they're obviously in the middle of working or something, you oh, don't yeah, want to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to interrupt them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't want to be that guy, you know, or assume that they want to hear all about your clan or about your life story, about how or how your grandfather came over, you know, on, on the boat, blah, blah, blah. There'll be times for those stories, but not every encounter is going to be a good time for those kinds of things. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, gauge gauge how the conversations are going. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I think that's covers that yeah. pretty well. Yeah. yeah. So